In the midst of the 18th century, a French astronomer named Charles Messier ignited his passion for exploring the night sky. Born in 1730 in Badonville, France, a unique six-tailed comet sighting in his early years was the spark to his lifelong fascination with the stars. This event set him on a path towards a career in astronomy, leading him to an esteemed position at the Marine Observatory in Paris. While documenting the night sky, Messier often encountered what he described as fuzzy patches, objects that resembled comets but did not move. These static entities disrupted his work, causing confusion among comet hunters. To ensure his and his peers' efforts weren't misdirected, he made a decision to catalogue these stationary objects. Thus, the Messier catalogue was born. Initially, the catalogue comprised of 45 objects, but eventually it expanded to include 110 celestial bodies, from galaxies to nebula, open star clusters to glob clusters. The catalogue served as a comprehensive guide to the non-comet occupants of our cosmic neighbourhood. Each celestial object was precisely identified with its position in the sky along with a description. Messier's catalogue was unique for its time, born from a practical need to differentiate between the static celestial bodies and the transient comets he was tracking. This task, whilst out of necessity, changed the field of astronomy. The Messier catalogue was more than a mere list, it became an essential tool for astronomers, assisting them in distinguishing between the transient and the fixed, helping them navigate the cosmos. This catalogue, a testament to Messier's dedication, contributed significantly to our understanding of the universe, providing astronomers with an invaluable resource. The Messier catalogue is a treasure trove of galaxies, nebulae and star clusters, each with its own distinct features. Let us explore a handful of these celestial wonders. First, we find ourselves gazing at the Andromeda Galaxy, known in the catalogue as M31. This majestic spiral galaxy is the closest large galaxy to our own Milky Way, located in the constellation of Andromeda. Despite being a mind-boggling two and a half million light years from us, it's one of the few galaxies that can be seen unaided from clear dark skies. It's truly awe-inspiring to imagine that the light reaching our eyes today embarked on its journey at a time when our earliest ancestors were just beginning to fashion tools. Next, we venture to the great Orion Nebula, catalogued as M42. This nebula, a massive cloud composed of gas and dust, is the site where stars are being created. It's nestled in the sword of Orion, just below the constellation's belt stars. Roughly 1,340 light years away, it's a veritable star factory, a place where stars and perhaps even planets are forming at this very moment. The Great Orion Nebula is a hotbed of stellar activity and a reminder of the ceaseless cycle of stellar birth and death that moulds our universe. Next, let us travel to the Pleiades star cluster, catalogued as Messier 45. This open cluster of bright young stars resides in the constellation of Taurus. At a mere 445 light years away, it's one of the star clusters closest to Earth. Let's delve deeper into the Messier catalogue and explore a few more examples of each type of celestial object. Our first stop is the Whirlpool Galaxy, known as M51. This grand design spiral galaxy is located in the constellation Can Venatici. What makes this galaxy special is its interaction with a smaller galaxy, NGC 5195. This cosmic dance showcases the dynamic interactions and gravitational forces at play in our universe. Next, we journey to the Eagle Nebula, or M16. This nebula is home to the famous Pillars of Creation, towering columns of gas and dust where new stars are being born. Located in the constellation Serpens, the Eagle Nebula is a testament to the complex structures that can be formed by the process of star formation. Finally, we turn our gaze to the globular cluster M13. Located in the constellation Hercules, this densely packed sphere of hundreds of thousands of stars is one of the most prominent and best known clusters. Observing it gives us a glimpse into the early universe, as these clusters are among the oldest objects in the cosmos. From spiralling galaxies to the birthplaces of stars and the ancient clusters, the Messier catalogue truly encapsulates the diversity and wonder of our universe. 
Fast forward to the 21st century, the Messier catalogue still holds relevance in the world of astronomy. Progress in technology has not diminished its importance. The catalogue, despite being centuries old, is a favourite tool for amateur astronomers and astrophotographers. A fascinating list of easily observable objects in the night sky. For amateur astronomers, equipped with a telescope and the Messier catalogue, each Messier object they locate in the vast expanse is a little victory, ticked off from the list. It's a celestial bucket list, providing a tangible target and a sense of achievement. Akin to this, astrophotographers find the Messier catalogue exceedingly useful. It offers them a detailed list of targets, each with a unique structure and appearance. Capturing each object and exhibiting its beauty becomes a compelling challenge. However, the influence of the Messier catalogue isn't limited to hobbyists. It has been a stepping stone for the creation of more extensive catalogues, contributing significantly to our comprehension of the universe. Catalogues built on Messier's foundation have aided astronomers in identifying and classifying thousands of galaxies, nebulae and star clusters. Whilst the Messier catalogue serves as a guide for those who aspire to explore our universe, either through the eyepiece of a telescope or a camera, it's more than a list. Even after more than two centuries, Charles Messier's catalogue continues to captivate astronomers, serving as a testament to human curiosity and our quest to understand the universe. Until next time, thank you for watching and a special shout out to my incredible channel members and Patreons. Keep on looking up and if you see clouds, tell them to sod off.